Hi there, I'm Grant Sewell, Senior Application Specialist at Canadian Measurement Metrology, and I'd like to take a few minutes to show you how to dump out the contents of your PCDMIS HASP port lock. The first thing you want to do is locate the shortcut to PCDMIS. This may be on your desktop or it may be in your start menu. When you've located one of the shortcuts, right click on the shortcut and select Properties. In the Properties dialog that appears, one of the options is Open File Location. We'll select that. Inside of Windows Explorer, we're going to look for a program called custprog.exe. We'll double click on this program to run it. This program reads the contents of your PCDMIS HASP port lock. And what we want to do is we want to save these contents. We can do that by selecting Save Module List. I'm going to save the module list to my desktop and I'll close out of the cusprog.exe program. We can now close this folder. When you're finished, you'll end up with a module list.txt file. And this is what you need to email over to us in order for us to reprogram your hardware key. Now that you've dumped out the contents of your hardware key, you'll want to make an email and address it to lkubush at cmmxyz.com. And in that email, you want to attach the file that we've created. Hi, I'm Grant Sewell, Senior Application Specialist at Canadian Measurement Metrology, and right now I want to show you the command syntax and some editing inside of our PCDMIS part program. You'll notice on the left-hand side of our screen we have the summary mode window. We can switch back and forth between the summary mode view of our part program and the command mode view of our part program by selecting View and at the bottom, placing a check next to Command Mode. You will notice that it's the same part program. However, we're now viewing the full command syntax of our part program. If I wish to edit any of these commands, I simply place my cursor on the command, and I can right-click and select Edit, or use the shortcut key of F9. When I do that, the dialog that was used to create the command appears, and I can make changes to the nominals and the number of hits and the feature name inside of this command dialog. Let's now regenerate this plane so that instead of measuring it with four hits, I measure it with six hits. I'll type in six, and I'll change the plane's name as well to plane A, and I'll select OK. And PCDMIS now regenerates that command with the new number of hits using the new name. 